technology found me. I was always excited about technology. I was born in the end of the 70s, so actually I grew up in the 80s, 90s and got to see how technology changed life. And I started to work in the financial sector, which was interesting, but not that fulfilling. the opportunity to speak to a lot of companies and in those companies the most valuable assets are the people. It's really exciting to get to know these people and understand what are driving them and in which way they really want to help their company succeed and trying to be a part of that part of that journey for them is really a great thing for me. The good thing is about IT is we are actually the ones that are leading innovation. It is really difficult not to get excited about the new things that are coming up. For instance, I mean, right now everybody t speaks about artificial intelligence. So I think for myself back, I was 12, 13 or something like that when Terminator 2 came out. So we were all afraid of Skynet coming and whatever. The thing is, AI came, but it's not here to destroy lives. What we are really doing is to help people creating more value and leveraging much more um, resources with less to do. Anything that has to do with uh, broadband and with the network is what drives actually the possibility to be that innovative. I mean, just have a look at how we were 20 years back. I mean, we had our phones. Nowadays, the cell phones that we have are computers that we couldn't even dream of 20 years back. And the faster it gets, the better it will become. It's really not just about the experience that you can get information, but it's about the time that you need to get to that information. We are actually serving people, not the other way around. So if we want to serve them well, we need to understand what their needs are, where their pains are, and how we can really help them. If you always do what you already can, you will always be what you already are. I am always 100% satisfied with who I am right now, and I would encourage everybody to be satisfied with who they are. That if you want to go to the next level, you have to change, you have to adapt, you have to embrace changes and understand that anything that is static will not move up. All these experience that I gained was really probably also due to the fact that I am really willing to learn. And I still feel like there is a lot, a lot of things that I can really learn that I do not know everything. And as long as I keep this state of mind, I am still hungry for new experiences. It is important to fail once in a while because you can only really get to the next level if you keep trying. And there is no one who has ever succeeded at everything at the first attempt. No one has ever been rewarded by starting something, but really by staying with something.